And the question is not why I got involved in springs uh, conservation, it's how can you not? You see, you know, the otters on the riverbanks playing, the kingfisher just diving into the water, um, the cormoran flying over you. Um, it's, it's, it's natural to feel compelled to, to protect the wildlife that's here or anywhere else. Everything is connected. For those of you who are new to this, Springs Protection, Springs Loving, um, boy, it, stick with it. It's not easy. Uh, it can be discouraging, but it's so important to get involved in this, in this fight. There's so many ways to get involved. We have artists, we have videographers, we have writers. Um, there's so many avenues for, for getting involved with the spring. Those people that are new and they want to get involved and they had the time to get involved, I'd say the first thing is study the matter. Study, for example, the Rainbow River. Uh, learn about the resource uh, thoroughly so you can be prepared to answer any kind of question that comes up. And uh, work with uh, the group, uh, work under, under the umbrella of the organization that you're dealing with and be aggressive about it. Be patient and be nimble because things take a while. Communicate to build bridges and bring people together. We need to step it up. We're at a point where we know what the problems are and so we just need to pull back and fix those problems. I think the most exciting thing is when I have encounters with um, an entity that I may be challenging and that entity sits with me, we discuss things and they motiv they're motivated to do something different. That's exciting to me that we can have human to human conversation and the light bulbs and the whistles go off while I'm sitting there and talking to somebody who I know has the ability to do something different but they've never really been explained why they need to. I know sometimes it can look really dim, but you are making a difference by any little thing that you do and we need more people like you.